Welcome back friends. We are here again today live from the Coastal Seafoods Production Kitchen and today we're going to be making something super fun as we get ready to roll into the weekend here. We're going to do a pretty special little fishmongers brunch. This is going to be really awesome and we're going to be using our favorite shoreline wild coho salmon which I have a beautiful piece of right here. Of course we have this on feature all weekend long so definitely check that out but this is going to be awesome. Uh, I've got some beautiful bacon as well. This is from our friends at Newski's over in Wisconsin. They do beautiful bacon. So I'm going to start by getting the bacon in the pan first. Bacon, when I cook it, I always tell this to people, but I always put it in a cold pan to start. And that's going to help that fat kind of render out nice and slowly. And it's going to give us some nice fat in the pan to work with for when we want to sear our salmon. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all together and let this bacon start coming up. Just like so. And make sure my pan's good. And we're gonna get this rendering. So again, I've got my bacon in a cold pan and I'm doing that so that that fat can come up to temperature a little bit more slowly. And when it does that, it tends to render out a little bit better. So we're gonna get nice crispy bacon. And I'm gonna do something similar with the salmon, but I want this to start going first. You can see already my bacon starting to, to bubble and pop and do its thing, which is exactly what we want to have happen. Um, but in addition to that, once we make our brunch, we're gonna go through and we're going to uh, make a super awesome Bloody Mary. I've got all kinds of fun stuff available for that. And I'm gonna show you what I am calling the official Bloody Mary of Coastal Seafoods. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for that because uh, it's gonna be outrageous, like we tend to do, which is super fun. Now the salmon I wanna talk a little bit about because some people know about it. We've been carrying this for a while. We work very closely with our friends at Shoreline Wild up in Alaska. Again, they're located in Pelican, Alaska. This fish is all troll and line caught. One hook, one fish, so it's very, very sustainable. The quality on it is very, very good. Um, this is what's called frozen at sea. So right when they catch the fish, it's cleaned and frozen whole immediately, uh, which basically stops the aging process. And it's a very advanced sort of uh, freezing technique. So it keeps the fish very pristine. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we are starting to get into salmon season. So we're gonna start getting fresh salmon here soon, uh, fresh wild salmon, which is gonna be great. Uh, again, this would be great to do with any of that stuff too. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, pay attention closely because I've got a big announcement coming up in regards to salmon. So you definitely won't wanna hang in and wait for that. Uh, but you can see this salmon is just beautiful. It's got a fairly good amount of fat in there, which is nice. It's gonna help keep the fish from drying out. Um, but it's not super fatty like a king salmon would be. Uh, so it's got, it's gonna have that nice kind of lean salmon flavor. Coho is just, it's great sort of in-between salmon. Let's see how my bacon's doing here. It's starting to look pretty nice. And you can see how that fat is rendering out into the pan, which is exactly what I want to have happen. And as soon as it starts to get a little bit more golden brown, I'll flip it on the other side and then I'll add my salmon into the pan. Uh, I'll gauge to see how much bacon fat I have because I want to use the bacon fat to uh, help sear the skin on the salmon. Uh, but if there's not enough fat from the bacon, I'm gonna add a little vegetable oil to it in order to kind of make sure that we're doing good here. There we go. Flip it over. Looking good. So I'm gonna let that go and look at a decent amount of fat in the pan here. But I'm gonna go ahead and add just a touch more so that we can get this salmon cooking off nice. Yeah, just, a, just a touch of that vegetable oil there. And my salmon is gonna go right in. So again, I'm gonna let it kind of sear and do its thing so that skin can get nice and crispy exactly what we want. Uh, this is gonna be super fun. Uh, everything we got going on here, this is gonna make such a cool brunch. And I'm gonna do some eggs to go along with this, of course, because you need eggs. 
Uh, one thing that you could do uh, is you could also do this kind of like Eggs Benedict style, uh, which is not what I'm gonna do today, uh, but you could certainly do up the salmon just like this, put it on top of a nice English muffin with a poached egg, pour some hollandaise sauce over it, that would be great. Um, there's a lot of really cool ways to incorporate seafood into your brunches. Oh yeah, that bacon's getting nice. I'll go up here. So, these ones look like they can basically come out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from the pan. I'm gonna set them off to the side for now. Let's see how that salmon is doing. It's looking pretty good. So, one thing I need is to grab my spatula here. And see how it's going. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and golden brown on the bottom, exactly what I want. Perfect. Bacon frying up nicely. Okay, remove this guy from the pan as well. I can't wait to build this Bloody Mary for you because that's gonna be super cool. Uh, again, I have a lot of fun little garnishes and things for that. Salmon's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and one thing I wanna do before I get too far ahead of myself is season that salmon. Don't forget to do that, that's important. And I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over. You see we got that nice sort of golden brown crust on that skin there, exactly what I want. I just wanna kinda of cook this salmon to like a nice medium uh, and that'll be perfect. All right. So this is good, bacon's done. So my eggs, I already have pre-scrambled. This is just plain scrambled eggs, nothing fancy here. It's literally just egg. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a really nice, beautiful scrambled egg to go along with this, which I'm gonna need my plate for. The salmon is nearly done. I'm gonna go ahead and use my spoon to sort of baste off the top of the skin. Make sure it gets that nice extra crispiness. We're also getting some of that bacon fat on there and infusing this with a little bit more of that smoky flavor, which is gonna be really nice. Look at that. This is a beautiful piece of salmon. Absolutely perfect. This is, they got that just nice golden brown. You can Kind of hear how nice and crispy it is there. Super beautiful. Hello from South Minneapolis. Yeah, Bloody Mary is gonna be very nice. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do that one. All right, so this salmon is looking about done. You got the nice golden brown on top as well. Exactly what I'm shooting for here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this salmon. And set this off to the side for now until we're ready to make our plate. I'm also going to move my skillet out of the way. And I'm actually gonna to switch to another pan because when you do scrambled eggs, you wanna start, again, with kind of a cold pan, at least the way I'm making them, we're gonna do this uh, sort of soft scramble style. So we're gonna make this pretty, pretty nice here. I'm gonna put in a good amount of butter, because the butter should help make those eggs nice and rich. Perfect. And we just wanna get that good and sort of melted. And we're gonna, again, soft scramble these. So I'm not gonna do like a hard scramble. I want these to be kind of nice and creamy. And I want them to kind of emulsify into the butter. And we're gonna wind up with kind of almost a custard uh, sort of situation, which is really what I want here. There we go. So in order to achieve that, we're gonna do a little bit of back and forth here. So I've got my butter that's almost entirely melted. I'm gonna move it from the skillet. I'm gonna add my eggs in. 
and I'm going to just start stirring. This is going to prevent those curds from getting too big and developing too fast. And I'm just going to work that butter in there. This is going to be really nice. This is my preferred method of scrambled egg. And back onto the heat. So we're going to just go kind of on and off. We're doing this, trying to go kind of low and slow here. Because again, we don't want these eggs to set up too fast. We want a nice creamy consistency at the end. Also notice I haven't seasoned these eggs yet. Uh, I'm not going to season them until right at the very end. Because what can happen is that salt can draw out moisture from the eggs and you wind up uh, with watery scrambled eggs, which is not what we want. You can see I'm starting to thicken up here, which is great. These eggs, you know, for some people they might look underdone. We're not done yet, but when they're finished, uh, they might look a little underdone, but they're gonna be cooked through. You'll see that color will change, get nice and yellow. And you can see it's, again, nice and creamy in there. I can drag my spatula across already. And we've got that nice consistency. So I'm not gonna take it too much further than this. Just enough for it to set up a little bit more. Again, we got a lot of butter working in there. So this is gonna be a very rich, decadent scrambled egg. This is kind of a special weekend brunch. But I'm just gonna keep on working. You can see some curds starting to develop in there, which is fine. But we just wanna keep on keeping on. Work it nice and slow. You can see. Again, it's thickening it up more and more. Beautiful. Just work it, work it, work it. And we're very, very nearly done. Again, you can see it's that nice, silky, custardy texture. Absolutely beautiful. This is really close to what we want. I'm just gonna go a little bit further. Um, at this point, you could call this done for sure. Um, those eggs are cooked. And I'm gonna go just a touch more. That's perfect, that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna kill my heat. At this point, you could add a little creme fraiche to this. That would be really nice. Uh, make it a little bit Gordon Ramsay style. I add my salt. Fold my eggs. Now I'm gonna take my plate. Eggs are gonna go down. Nice creamy eggs. Perfect. I'm gonna take my salmon. I'm gonna set that right off to the side on top of the eggs there like so. I'm gonna take my bacon, which I've got here add these to my plate. Now we are not quite done yet because we're going to take this up to a whole new level with a little salmon roe. This is going to be very nice. Put a little right on top of my eggs there like so. Add a little bit to the top of the salmon because why not? Again, we're going, we're going decadent here. Got a little fresh parsley. I'm just gonna kind of hit my eggs with a little bit. Just a little around the plates. And there we have a pretty epic little simple brunch. How good does that look? Salmon roe, the soft eggs, the bacon. Really, really, really nice. Again, this is a great little brunch dish, but let's move on to the star of the show, our Bloody Mary. So first things first, you're gonna need a glass for your Bloody Mary. And I am going to do a little rim on this glass using some of that leftover Old Bay from yesterday. So I just dip it in a little bit of water, Run it around my glass. Got a nice little rim going on there. It's a great way to start. Now what we want to do is make, uh, we want to add a little ice to our, to our glass here. Let's see. 
if I can do this without. There we go. Perfect. I'll do just a touch more. There we go. Ice. And now we want to build a skewer. Happy Friday indeed. I'm going to show you how to really, really make this a good Friday or Saturday brunch if you're going to make this tomorrow. I've got some shrimp here. I've got some chorizo here. And I've got my favorite little Spanish peppers here. We talked about these the other day. Uh, and I mentioned that these are great for making Bloody Marys. And I'm gonna do exactly that today. So I'm gonna take my chorizo. This is a dry cured Spanish chorizo. This is the hot one, but we have different. We also have a mild if you'd rather that. I'm just gonna take a few nuggets of the chorizo like so. And oof, I'm gonna start by skewering a shrimp. Now I just seared these off right before the right before we started. So I'm gonna just skewer it through like so. Pretty simple. Then I wanna take one of these beautiful peppers. I'm gonna skewer that again just like so. And then of course Chorizo gets skewered like so. And another pepper. Now you could certainly do this with pre-cooked cocktail shrimp. We do sell a pre-cooked shrimp. That would be great for this. I'm gonna do another piece of chorizo. Do another pepper. Now if there's a lot more that's gonna go into this, so uh, this is, this is again, this is the start of epicness right here. So, final skewer, there we go. So we've got our skewer. This is gonna be very, very nice. So next thing we want to do is let's start making our bunny. So, We've got our liquor of choice. Now it's up to you to decide if this is vodka or stunt vodka. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, stunt vodka being water. Now you can go as heavy handed as you want here. I'm not, I'm not gonna criticize your, your Bloody Mary. And I've got, again, this Sucker Punch Bloody Mary mix. We used this the other day. This stuff is great. Uh, this is gonna make a really nice Bloody Mary here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just top off my glass with my mix. So we've got a nice little foundation. I like mine a little hot. So I'm gonna add some Crybaby Craigs cause I love this stuff. It's a nice local hot sauce. We do carry this here. So I'm gonna add a few splashes of that. Now, I want to stir this, and to do that, I'm gonna use some of this awesome salmon jerky that is made for us by our friends up in Northern Waters, up in Duluth. So I'm just gonna give this a little stir. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just add both. Uh-oh, might have to take a sip off it. I filled it a little bit too much. There we go. Making some room, making some room. McClure pickles, spicy pickles, love these. These are great for this. Gotta have a little pickle in that Bloody Mary. Like so. I'm just gonna do a little cut in the pickle so that I can rest it on my glass. Uh-oh, again, we're <laughs> We're going nuts. All right, got to drain. Okay. Looking good here. Looking good. It's never bad if you've got to like work your Bloody Mary down and make room. That's completely okay. Let's clean up my mess here a little bit. Well, of course, 
at our fancy schmancy skewer, like so. So you can see we're working on a lot of, a lot of big flavors here, which is exactly what you want for a Bloody Mary. And we'll finish it off with just a little piece of lime. Like so. So this, friends, is our Coastal Seafoods Bloody Mary. Look at that. You make that this weekend, you are gonna be off to a good start. Of course, you can get this more of the coho to grill for later. So you can have a little breakfast and brunch sort of situation. Look at that. Let's get it good into the shot there. That is some epic level brunch right there. Fishmonger's brunch right here. Huge Bloody Mary. Really nice piece of coho salmon from our friends at Shoreline Wild. Nooski's bacon from over in Wisconsin. We've got our creamy scrambled eggs with a little bit of our salmon roe. Everything here is just, just huge. Perfect way to start the weekend, is it not? Uh, right? Yum, it's so good. Uh, I hope you make this. Uh, I'd love to see how you do your Bloody Marys. Um, again, the shrimp, the peppers, the chorizo, the salmon jerky, all this is available online um, or you can get it at the store. Uh, so the same with the Bloody Mary mix, basically everything but the vodka. So get yourself set up for the weekend, right? Make this for yourself, your family, have some fun and then grill some coho later on. Have a nice dinner. Make another one of these to go with it. Anyway, thank you so much again for tuning in. This has been great. Um, again, we've got the salmon on feature. We've got 99 cent oysters. Got lots of great stuff going on this weekend. So definitely you're gonna wanna check that out. Otherwise, eat well, stay safe, and we will be back next week with some more videos. Talk to you soon.